Second A-level chemistry quick test video on calculations. So for this video I'm looking at gases. So there's two exercises. The first one, this one here, gases at RTP. And then the second one is an ideal gas question. So if you want to have a go at these three, pause the video and then play them when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first one, got to work out how many um, moles of helium gas we've got first. So that's mass over MR. So 0.75 moles of helium. And then to turn that into a volume at RTP, we multiply by 24. That gives us the volume in dm cubed. And then we multiply by 1,000 to get it into cm cubed. So the answer there, 18,000 cm cubed. So second question, very similar to the first one, but there's a few extra bits in. So the mass is in kilos, and we've got to remember to put it into standard form and give it a three significant figures. So the moles of nitrogen, remember nitrogen exists as the diatomic N2 molecule, so mass over MR, so 45,000 grams over 28 gives us 1607. Now I've kept the full number in the calculator there, so that's just a rounded number that. And then we multiply that by 24 to get it into the volume in dm cubed, and then three significant figures in standard form gives us 3.86 times 10 to 4 dm cubed. And the final one, it's kind of going the other way around. So we've got to work out the mass of CO2 this time from a volume at RTP. So to get the moles this time, it's um, volume over 24. So 10 over 24, so there's that many moles of CO2. And then all we need to do is multiply by the MR of 44, which gives us to three significant figures, 18.3 grams. Okay, so the second task is an ideal gas equation. So obviously we're not at RTP anymore. So again, if you want to pause the video and then play when you're ready for the answers. So there's the ideal gas equation. We're going to rearrange for N to calculate the moles of gas and then we're going to use that mass there to work out the MR and then we can get an identity for the gas from that. So rearranging for N gives us that. And I've been a bit nasty with this, so every single term is in the wrong unit. So we'll talk about units as we plug these numbers in. So pressure, that's got to be in pascals, and I've given it in kilopascals. So that's just 50.65, and then just put 10 to the times 10 to 3 on the end, so times 1,000, gets it into pascals. The volume, I gave it in cm cubed, it's got to be in meters cubed. So to go from cm cubed to meters cubed, you divide by 10 to the 6. So the number becomes that. And obviously um, the, the gas constant R doesn't change, but the temperature has to be in Kelvin. So to get Celsius into Kelvin, we add 273. So we get 500 Kelvin for the temperature. So the number of moles comes out at 9.99. Sorry, that's not very clear. Times 10 to the minus 3 moles. And then to work out the MR, mass over moles, 71 grams per mole. And so this gas is chlorine, Cl2.